Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the Academy of Model Aeronautics Expo 2015 in Ontario, California. We want to thank Go Professional Cases and the AMA for making this trip possible. Let's go see what they got inside. So here we are with Stephen Parado at Horizon Hobby. How you doing, Stephen? Pretty good, pretty good. Having a good time at AMA 2015. That's right, 2015 already. And you've got a couple of cool new things here at the booth. I mean, really cool looking. And I figured we'd start with this one. It's the 350 QX3. What do we got here? We've done some modifications to the existing platform, but not so much out of the realm where you couldn't upgrade your old one. The cool things we've got on this is the new camera system. This is our Seago 2 camera. It is a three-axis stabilized gimbal. It's a 1080p 60 frames per second camera, so it's a really good high-quality camera on board. Not that really curvature type of lens on there, so you're not going to get that really weird curve in the video. It's obviously on this anti-vibration mount there, mounted up. It's an easy disconnect gimbal too. You just pop out the plug and slap the gimbal off so you can just transport it easily. We've also included this nice piece of plastic that we just kind of clips on to the gimbal there to lock it into place. We can show you that in a second. When you're moving the aircraft, you don't want your gimbal flopping around. You can store it nicely. Short of that, we've got the, the new GPS mast, which really gets the GPS system out and away from all the rotating electronics. So you just clip it, clip it down like that and store it. And then when you're ready to go fly, just clip it back up and you're good to go. Same battery system, so it's a 3000 milliamp, just like the QX2. Um, we've done a new firmware update, so the flight modes are, are a little bit different as far as how it's oriented. So we've got smart mode, uh, AP mode, and then return home all the way down. And then if you want to change to a different set of flight modes, you hold aileron to the right, flip the flight modes, and then it jumps into a new set of flight modes automatically on the quad. So you don't need new mixes or anything else. Um, if you have a nicer radio or a, like a Spectrum DX9 or anything, of course you can bind it right up and get all the flight modes on different switches too. So you can have, I guess, up to four flight modes on different switches, four or five flight modes. So now, now this is the sort of simple thing which seems to amuse me quite easily. This camera transmits to a cell phone with near real time for FPV or for framing up your shot. Right, yeah, so it's a 5.8 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi connection. It's actually running on 802.11n Wi-Fi. So you'll need a smartphone and, and the latency is actually really good and it all transmits down to your phone. So, and you can stop and start record, you can take photographs with your phone with the app. So there is an app for the 350QX3. And then uh, we're recording on board, I assume, that full 1080p. Is there an SD card on board, or how are we doing that? There's a slot on the bottom of the camera. In fact, if you want to flip that whole quad upside down, the gimbal won't get upset because it turns off the gyros when it gets to an angle. So there's an SD card down there. Looks like a micro SD. A micro SD, you can run up to, I think, a 32 gig or even a 64 gig because it'll, it'll handle it. It does come with a 8 gig card, plenty enough to get you started. And the latency, like you said, is really not that bad. I'm thinking around a half a second, um, which is you're not going to go FPV racing and flying through trees. But, you know, for framing up shots and doing what this product's designed for, which is aerial photography and videography, it's perfect for that. And I was looking at your screen you've got over here. It's, uh, the video is pretty clean. I mean, this is, is not bad video. Yeah, the camera folks really did a lot of work on this camera, and we think everyone's going to really enjoy it. So if you haven't checked out the video, please do. And all the video footage in that video has not been edited down. It's the raw footage. We just pulled it into a video to show the, how it really looks. Uh, now, all the basic questions. You said it's a 3,000 milliamp battery, so what's our flying time with that? Uh, we're getting, you know, obviously depending on wind conditions, you're getting anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes with an EC3 connector, so you don't need to have a special battery, and you can have multiples, and they're a lot less expensive than a, than a standard battery like or the other type of batteries out there. And then last question, what is it going to cost? The, uh, the new QX3 with the camera, so we call this the aerial photography combo, or the AP combo. Uh, that's $9.99 or about a grand. You get the, you get the radio, um, you'll need your own smartphone. Of course, we don't give you a cell phone, but uh, you'll have the, the camera and the quad, everything's built in the box. Take it out and go fly. You know, this aircraft, it flies, it's really smooth. It feels like it's got Expo on there. You give it slight inputs, it's very, very easy, smooth inputs. You give it a full stick, it takes off and goes. This takes a second to get there, though, like it's not made for it. Of course, it's a camera ship. Of course, that 3X's gimbal has quite a bit of travel left to right. I'm kind of surprised, actually. It's compared to the DJI. It's made for smooth, small, controlled inputs to have nice, sweeping camera shots. And then, of course, if you have to be aggressive, it gets up and goes. Pretty severe tilt angle if you want it to. Of course, in the cage here, I can't take it too far, but uh, 
very nice, very, very quiet. It's a quiet aircraft, too. That's surprising. It's, I'm flying it right next to myself here, and you can probably hear it. I'm about a foot or so away. It's nice. A little bit of drift up and down. I don't know if that's something we're indoors, but it is moving up and down a little bit on its own. Not a lot, though, but again, the camera's smoothing out most of the bumps I'm having here as far as up and down. This would be a great thing for someone just to, just to get out of the box, get it calibrated, and just go flying and get some great footage. That's nice. Well, I appreciate it. Etzel let me fly this aircraft here. I didn't crash it. <laughs> Oh, no problem. I was, uh, I was really confident that once you fly, you get your hands on the sticks, you were really going to enjoy how this model flew. Oh, extremely docile, and the gimbal was really cool to watch it in action. That was neat. Well, this is uh, Roswell Flight Test Crew from AMA Expo signing off. <laughs>